Hey ho. Fighty ho, neighbor. I don't know. I think I say anywho the most of anything. So, no catchphrase for this girl. I'm sitting outside. Sun is shining, birds are singing, all that shit. Um, sister's got the baby with her. So, no seeing Milton today. Uh, rocking the tank with the booster on the ego. Sitting out, minding my own business. So, um, I don't know if you know this about me, but I really like disposable these things. I like having them to give away to people who are not really sure whether maybe they could get behind it. They think it's, you know, just weird sometimes. Um, but it gives, I mean, giving them a disposable gives them, it lets them know that this, you know, the, the basis, basic, you know, thing, uh, is something they could use as an alternative to smoking it and it's you know these cost me $3.99 so anyway I cleaned out good profits of these because I love them these are also great if you were um, out drinking and you really don't want to take you know your expensive shit with you because who knows the tequila might be really good and on sale that night and the you wake up the next morning and your Pravari is missing. Take a couple of these babies with you. Um, so anyway, I cleaned out good profits of their disposables. And uh, Rob over at Good Profits says, why not try something a little different? They're a little more expensive, but not strictly disposable. So up on his site at goodprofits.com, he's got these GP510 Super Mini Kit and they're $7.99 they come with one battery one 510 battery I think it's 510 yeah I just said 510 of course it's 510 uh, it comes with one 510 battery two disposable cardos although they are refillable um, and a little USB charger uh, you can find them on the site under GP510 stuff it's a super mini. Um, it's not a disposable, but it's dirt cheap and actually better than giving a disposable away because, you know, they can keep this for a while. Um, they come in, I believe, tobacco and menthol. It's It says high on it, but it's 18 milligrams. Um, and two cardos. Let me just ship this out of here. So, what you're left with when you put this thing together is something that looks very similar to a cigarette. Something smokers can get behind. Because I know a couple of people that wanted, I wanted to try the e-cigarettes, but they wanted one that looked like a cigarette. And if you know anything about vaping, the ones that look like cigarettes are usually like 401s and they're just crappy. Not crappy, just more difficult to deal with. Um, so if you can find one with a cardo, you're rocking. Um, so how do they vape? And they are very light and they look like a cigarette. So if you wanted to, you know, go on incognito with the smoke, rest of the smokers, um, this is the way to do it. I'll turn this fan. I have a fan on outside. Such a A decent amount of vapor. I mean, this is this is right out of the package, so like anything, you got to work it in. But a nice plain old tobacco taste. Yeah, very nice. Similar to what I got the sister, I I made her. Uh, a kit. You get her a couple of 510 batteries and some uh, the cardos, some cardos, and she loves it. 
because of because it's uh, light and automatic battery, so there's no pushing buttons or anything, and she just pretends she's smoking like the rest of the losers out in the smoking area. So yeah, so these on the site are seven ninety nine. I'm not sure how many times you can recharge the battery before it, you know, dies completely. But even if it's like, even if it's not that long, I mean, you got two Cardos in here that are refillable, I think. Don't quote me. But I mean, it's a 510 battery, so you can put any Cardos you want on there, for instance. Dual coil. So I think I might get a few more of these just, you know, to give out to people. Um, like I said, a lot of people don't want to, first of all, they don't want to go on the internet and give their credit card information, all that shit. Paranoid people wearing so tinfoil hats. But, uh, but just you know, pick up a couple of those and then when somebody says, well, but that does that really work? You know, here, live with it for a few days and, and see what you think. Um, you s like, this is a basic thing and I mean, you can go as crazy as this in the end, right? But it does give the person the, I the not the idea, but it lets them know that this is something they could deal with instead of smoking cigarettes. So yeah, seven ninety nine at, at good profits, and uh, it's a satisfying little vape too. So you want to keep those in the car, just in case, or for when you're out drinking, you don't want to take your Pravari or your Darwin or your, you know, three hundred dollar Eclipse with you, for fear you might lose it. These are great ideas, and like I said before, disposables have come a long way, like. The disposables are better than those crappy uh, 401 kits from that they sell at the mall for a hundred crazy dollars. But yeah, another good one to pick up. Um, just you know, you get a relative and just will not convert for you. Let them live with that for a couple of days instead of your ego kit. Anyway. That's me. I'm just going to sit out here and enjoy myself for the, the rest of the day. No dog, no sister, just me.